Diolch Gareth, Lawrence Delalio, men you'll know you as a World Cup winner back in 2003, but you were a World Cup winner a decade earlier. What's the story there? Well, I played sevens, a lot of sevens. Obviously, it's a young man's game. Uh, and uh, like many of the young boys on show tonight, uh, you know, didn't have the opportunity to get into the WASP first team. So I started off playing sevens. Was fortunate enough to play in the world, the first Rugby Sevens World Cup. And uh, we won that with England. Uh, used to spend uh, a few trips down to Wales. I think Aberystwyth and, and, uh, and Penarth used to have sevens tournaments as well. So it's, uh, it's just a great opportunity to, to showcase your skills. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, the game's probably changed a little bit since, uh, since I played. But it's a big stage for the youngsters uh, this evening to show off their talent. Yes, I mean, first and foremost, you know, these young men are putting on the, you know, their, their regional shirts, so that'll be a great experience for them, playing against each other. I mean, look at this you know, stadium, it's fantastic. Wonderful pitch now here, um, you know, in the BT Sports Stadium. And as you say, just an opportunity to, uh, um, you know, to showcase their talents. And of course, there's a prize of, of uh, having a crack at some of the English Premiership clubs as well. Yeah, have the English clubs welcomed the Welsh regions with open arms? Of course. I mean, listen, we, we've had the Anglo-Welsh Cup for, for the last uh, few seasons back in England. So, uh, you know, it's nothing new. And that, that cross-border rivalry is still there. So, uh, you know, looking forward to tonight and look forward to see who, uh, who comes through for the final in the stoop. One name who's going to win tonight? Uh, I fancy uh, the home team have advantage, so I'll go with the home team. Lawrence, thank you. Thank you.